This video tutorial is uh, going to go over how to install Firefox uh, as a browser on your computer. Now Firefox is just another internet browser just like Internet Explorer. It's just a different kind of browser. Uh, it has different features. Um, uh, it's, it's part of some of the things that I use in this class to uh, show you different um, extensions that you can use as well. So I wanted to make sure everybody knew how to install it because I'm sure not everybody has Firefox on their computer. Alright, so I'm just going to open Internet Explorer up. It's just a web browser and I need to find where I can download Firefox. So I'm just going to type Firefox and right there it says Firefox download. That's exactly what I'm looking for. It takes me to the search page where I can find it so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now here, this green box, and this is usually how Firefox does it, at least as long as I can remember, they have a box here for the download. Now this one says Firefox 3.6 free download. Of course Firefox is a free uh, piece of software so you don't ever have to pay for it. But uh, you know, when you watch this tutorial it may not be 3.6 anymore. It's more very likely to be a newer version. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, what the version number is, uh, just when you search for it on the internet and you find the current uh, new version, that's what you want to download. So even though mine says 3.6, it's very likely not to be 3.6 when you watch this video to install it because they do update it quite frequently. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, download Firefox right now. Again, it's a free download. You get this uh, little uh, thank you for choosing Firefox and then it walks you through how to do it with some simple steps as well. Or you can click here if the download doesn't start. But you can see mine just popped up and here's your options. Sometimes it, it's better to save something, sometimes it's better just to run it. Um, if you go ahead and click, if you clicked save on this, you probably want to save it to your desktop so you can easily find it and then run it from an executable file. You don't really need to do that. This is a pretty small, it's only 8.18 megabytes. It's not going to take long uh, to execute this, so I'm just going to run it right from the internet. So when I hit run, it's quickly downloading into a temporary file automatically. And I'll just say run, and it's actually extracting it. And then it's going to pop up with another window, and it's the wizard to install Firefox. You can see the fox. So I'm going to say next. I'm just going to say standard. Uh, do you want Firefox to be your default browser? If you prefer to just have Internet Explorer or whatever you use to be your browser, then you uncheck it. For me, I'm just going to say, yeah, go ahead and make Firefox my default browser. So that means any time that an Internet page is going to pop up, it's going to pop up in Firefox. I'm going to go ahead and launch Firefox right now. And I'm going to go ahead and close Internet Explorer. And now you can see my desktop again. All right, so now the wizard wants to know, do we want to import the um, passwords, history, bookmarks, that information from Internet Explorer? Or do you not want to import anything? I would recommend you're probably going to want to say import your things from Internet Explorer, especially if you're planning on using it a lot, because it's going to carry over that uh, airline uh, username that you have saved or your passwords that for your common web pages that you don't always remember that you have saved. So I, if you don't import those things over, you're going to have to type them in again, and then Firefox will have to remember them. But if you just import what uh, Internet Explorer already knows, it might make your life a little bit easier. But it's up to you. You do what you feel most comfortable with. I'm going to say, go ahead and say next. Uh, do you, what do you want your start page to be when you launch Mozilla Firefox? It might be uh, if you have CNN as your home page and you click uh, on Internet Explorer and you click on this, CNN will be your home page with Firefox. Um, I'm going to leave mine Firefox start page just so you can see it. I'm going to say next. It's going to bring all that in. Didn't take very long. Say finish. And it launched Firefox. This is just the welcome page. Once you close it, you won't see it anymore. And this is the Firefox start page. You can see that it has Google uh, built in as a search piece component of that. Um, I hope this went well for you. Um, enjoy using Firefox, and uh, I'll talk to you next time.